Happy New Year, everybody. This is Ron Moore, and I just want to discuss my year on the Ron Moore channel. It was kind of a slow year, looking back on it. I didn't do as much as I usually do on the Ron Moore channel. At the beginning of the year, I started a new full-time job. And so, because of that, that was part of the reason why I didn't do as much as I usually do. But also, like I said in my 10th anniversary live stream in 2017, there's no telling what's going to happen. The only thing for sure is that nothing's for sure. So, I kind of slowed down a little bit. Uh, also doing projects on the SC2K channel, live streams as well, and also a full-time job. So, but it wasn't a bad year on the Ron Moore channel. Starting in January, I did the Happy New Year 2018 video, a 10-minute video, me discussing what my year was like and all that good stuff. And so, uh, that was pretty cool to do. Then, later on that month, January, I did a let's check out of Daydreaming Debut Part 2. Now, you might be thinking, well, where was Part 1 at? Part 1 was done way back in 2014. And the reason why I didn't finish, uh, the reason why I didn't do a Part 2 of it was because I got stuck. If you remember, at a part of the game where you had to use your light gun, in my case, the mouse, because I was playing on the emulator, I had to use a mouse, but the mouse cursor wasn't working in the game and the emulation, so therefore I could not continue the let's check out, so I just scrapped it. Four years later, I had a different idea, which was to still <coughs> borrow footage from some other YouTuber and give them credit for it in the description box. And for those of you who didn't hear about that story, about a couple of videos being copyright claimed on the SC2K channel. I did a video of it. It's called the State of the Wrong World SC2K Address. I uh, only will talk about it briefly a little bit later on in this video. But yeah, January I also did a low, uh, let's check out of Daydreaming Davy. And uh, yeah, so that was real fun to do. Um, that one was actually done with tips. Yeah, I did do that with Tibbs. So that was fun to do. Moving on to January 24th, I did a let's check out of King's Landing Games. And no, that's not a video game. That's a place here in town. It's a place that has video games, among other things. Board games, all that good stuff. Uh, that was cool to do. King's Landing is a place where gaming and great eats combine to offer an experience that's sure, that's sure to amaze. They have a bountiful selection of games for you to enjoy, including Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Dungeons and Dragons, Dice Masters, and much more. You're welcome to play their games for free or bring your own. As a full-service gaming cafe, you can also enjoy coffee, craft beer, and fantastic food that's fit for a king or queen. They welcome everyone, so whether you're a human, halfling, dwarf, or orc, join them in their kingdom soon. I said that I will be back. Honestly, I haven't really been... Yeah, I have been back since then. They had a Street Fighter tournament back in May uh, that I was in, and I lost, but I was in. I competed in that tournament, and I think there's only other time I came back there, but it's a good place to be um, if you do like those sort of places that sell video games, board games, and you can sit down and eat and all that stuff, and you can play on old school TVs. That's pretty cool for nostalgic reasons. And I'll be back again. They are located at 1427 South Valley Mills Drive in Waco, Texas, 76711. And yeah, I will put the uh, location and link to the website and stuff and Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, and the description box. Pretty cool place. It's a cool little checkout video that I did. Also, I'll also put the link to the video that I did in there. You know, throw it in there. Why not? Um, and then I started the LP of Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. I started that on February 1st. Now I was kind of disappointed in this LP because I love the game, but the ending was disappointed because I beat the game. Uh, I played as Henry, but it was a different type of game when you play as a grown-up Henry. You have to go and rescue kids within a seven-day six children within a seven-day period or it's game over. I thought I was going to get to fight Dracula or fight Dracula's servant also. It turns out after you rescue like the sixth child, that's it. It's game over. 
Man, I thought I was gonna get to fight Dracula with my gun. But no. So that was pretty disappointing. So it wasn't one of my most uh, favorite LPs personally. In March, March 11th, I did a live stream of Little Nemo, the ECW Master. Little Nemo, the Dream Master. I did a live stream of that. That was freaking fun. April 22nd, I did a live stream of Mega Man X. Now, I already did this live stream on SC2K, I think back in 2017. And so I wanted to do it again on this channel. And I did, and it was fun, of course. Mega Man X, X marks the spot. April 28th, I did a live stream of Mega Man X2. So most of this year, it's been just me doing live streams pretty much. I think that's all I did after, after Legacy of Darkness. Well, I, I might have done some other videos, like Let's Check Outs. I'm not sure. I'm looking here on the list. But the last LP I ever did on the Rom War channel was Legacy of Darkness. So all this year, all I've been pretty much doing is live streams, which is not bad. But I just noticed over the course of the year that all I seem to do anymore is the live streams. And here's a sad video. June 20th, 2018, me and Raven Spectre did a little tribute video talking about the career of Big Van Vader, who passed away in June of this year. Um, that's sad. Vader was one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. At a time where I didn't really cheer that much for heels. I, I chilled. I chilled. I cheered for the faces, not the heels. But Vader was one of the very few heels that I liked. And it was sad that he passed away. I think he was 62. I think he passed away from congestive heart failure uh, due to complications of pneumonia or something like that. So rest in peace, big man. He's got to go in the Hall of Fame in 2019 or I'm going to be very disappointed. Here's a real cool one live stream that we did. June 22nd. Do it live. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Ron Moore versus Swindoll. This is Swindoll's first appearance on my channel in 10 years. So, or almost 10 years. So that was pretty cool to do. I really, really enjoyed that. It was cool to live stream and do commentary with Swindoll as we played online against each other. That was cool right there. I really enjoyed having Swindoll back. That was pretty much a one and done thing. So don't expect Swindoll. You haven't seen him since. He just did that as a favor to me and it's been a long long time and it, we both got Street Fighter Anniversary Collection for PC off Steam and we could play online against each other and we thought why not do commentary while doing this so that was pretty cool June 30th I did a live stream of Mega Man X3 that was very hard to me I had to have a lot of help thanks to people I think in the live stream chat that helped me out because man I'm not good at X3 like I am at the first X and back in September, I did a live stream. September 1st, I did a live stream of Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart. The original is because it was the, uh, what was it, uh, 10, 20, 20, 26th anniversary, I think, of the game coming out in the States. And I thought I'd do a live stream of it. It's over two hours long. I actually beat the game on 100 engine, 100 CC. That was challenging. I haven't done that in a long time. I was surprised I was able to pull it off right there. And September 2nd, the next day, I did a live stream of Sega Master System games. I'm sorry, wait a minute. Actually, that was, um, okay, part two. It says part two right there, September 2nd. Well, I'm trying to remember when I did part one. Oh, okay. I did a live stream before I did Mario Kart. I did a live stream of Sega Master System games about an hour and a half long on July 4th. Part 2, I started doing it again on September 2nd. So, okay. That was cool to do some live streams of some Sega Master System games like Hang On, Kung Fu Kid, Rocky, uh, The Ninja, and that, 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 Pro Wrestling, I think I did. So that was pretty fun stuff to do. Uh, Great Basketball was the other one. Alright, the next live stream I did was on September 7th, Shadowgate. That was real fun to do. You guys know I love Shadowgate. Um, here's a cool video I did. GameStop Horror Stories featuring Beware the Bun, who is a friend of mine that I work with. He used to work at GameStop for three horrible years. This is done on September 11th, and I did an interview with her, and she talked about her experiences with GameStop. And, uh, yeah, of course, as you guessed, not fun. Not fun story. She talked about how she couldn't get time off to go to the hospital or to the ER because she had glass shards in her legs and her manager would not let her get off 
and she had to work that painful shift and I mean that's, that was horrible just terrible and she has other stories too that uh, kind of make you cringe and I know you've, you're saying well we've heard all the stories yeah but give this one a chance to listen to it's not up to solid Rob caliber but it's still horror stories so check it out I love this video right here on a personal level September 22nd I did my first and only and probably ever will be only unboxing video I've ever done on YouTube period Mega Man 2 Legacy Cartridge Collection unboxing video uh, I have that cartridge and I've played it and it works good and that was very very cool to do uh, thanks to you I think it's I am 8-bit for that so it was worth the price of paying a hundred dollars for that game it's a personal favorite of mine and it was worth every penny um, and then starting in September all the way until now I'm still not finished yet I have been doing a series of live streams on a link to the past and I started that on September 30th and I plan to do another part here real soon so I'm not done with that yet and yeah this video was not so much fun to make back December 12th I did the state of the ROM war slash ST2K address addressing the issue of where some videos got copyright striked and taken down falsely by a youtuber who was not happy that I used their footage that they don't own the copyrights to either I still gave them credit for it but it's a long story it's a bunch of BS check out the video the link in the description box if you want to hear the full story so yeah let's uh, move on from that uh, and then the last video I did one week ago the 30th anniversary Mega Man 2 30th anniversary live stream um, I was going to use my actual cartridge for that but I couldn't get a working capture card at the time so I had to settle doing it on the emulator again and but it was still fun to do and no glitches this time messed me up like on like a while back when I first started live streaming and if you remember Tibbs was there the Dr. Wally stage 4 boss battle glitched out and the emulation reset and I said forget it I'm done so the game worked perfectly this time and I was able to live stream it on the 30th anniversary of its game's release in Japan so my overall favorite video game I got to live stream it on the 30th anniversary so that was pretty cool um, so yeah that's all I did this year on the YouTube channel as far as my personal life not bad of a year I do know a few people that uh, had hard times this year and my heart and prayers have gone out to them um, so I know they're like goodbye 2018 I want to forget all about 2018 is what they're saying um, and I don't blame them for that uh, to me personally 2018 was one of the better years I had recently um, personally I've had a great full-time job where I'm treated well and I'm paid well and doing pretty good and uh, everything else on a personal level has not been that bad also, um, you might have just seen the premiere of Metal Gear Solid Part 9 on the ST2K channel. That was actually recorded on December 30th. And one good way, I guess we can say, to end on a high note is I got to reconnect with J-Man again. We're talking again, and we did commentary, as you can see in that video again. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out right now. Metal Gear Solid Part, part 9, J-Man is back. So that's pretty cool and I'm starting this year off with a bang and rolling with the momentum that I came in with and at the end of 2018 and let's hope and pray that 2019 would be an ECW year as well. Uh, the SC2K channel it's about to hit its 10th anniversary on July 20th so hopefully we'll, we can do something cool and plan something real special for that occasion. Alright guys that is it I am out of here. Thank you very much for listening to this video. And I hope you guys have a great 2019. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.